Hey there, coaches. My name is Rich Argett, and I'm the head football coach at Emmett High School, and I'm also a lead consultant for coaches around the country with the surface-to-air system. If you have questions after watching this video, put them down there in the comment section, and we'll get back to you just as soon as possible. Also, please like this video and subscribe to the surface-to-air system YouTube channel if you've not done so already. All right, coaches, today we're going to take a look at a third-level RPO that I think has really been good to us. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let it play here once just so you can kind of get a frame of reference what we're talking about. In this clip, we're going to run an inserted inside zone. So let's talk first here about the fullback or the tight end player. We're going to insert him on the backside and run basically what amounts to a glorified ISO concept. In the box right there, you can see we've got a loaded box. We're facing man coverage or cover three on the perimeter. So we're going to go with our taper fade concept. So if you look down here at the bottom, um, this concept's been really good to us this year as we've seen man coverage. What we're going to do is we're going to push this outside receiver up, give him a five-yard in cut. We're going to let the slot receiver build, and we're going to take him on the taper fade down the sideline. And I think this has been a really good way um, to attack man coverage or to attack those deep vertical coverages that we're starting to see more of. All right, so here you go. Over the top, we get the corner's eyes drift, and we hit him for a big play right there. I think that's a great example kind of how this play should look. Um, again, you've got a pretty well-protected box because you're inserting that fullback. So you've got essentially six dedicated run blockers, and then obviously if the quarterback pulls the football, which he's going to pull the football here, you end up picking up a seventh blocker in pass protection. We just give that top side receiver a little option cut, let him do what he wants to do right there. Um, this game was played on Boise State's campus, the Mountain West champions this year. Um, and you can see here against our rival, we're catching him in cover three. I think this is a great job putting the ball on the money right here. Probably could have been thrown in front of him just a hair more, but you get the point. Big, big pitch and catch right there. All right. Uh, we were very fortunate this year. A week later, we got to go up and play uh, in the Kibbe Dome. So we got to play in Division One stadiums back-to-back -back weeks. Um, pretty cool experience for us. So here's the the very next week. We're at the at the Kibbe Dome, University of Idaho, who's now I guess quarter or semifinalist. So uh, maybe we brought these schools a little bit of good luck playing with them this year. Um, but it was all kidding aside, it was really neat to to get to be a part of the experience of playing on two Division One campuses back to back weeks. All right, so here you are. We have an inline tight end now. So we're going to run what we call a boss zone. We're going to run all five linemen, or what you might call a loaded zone. Okay, we're going to bring that tight end a lot of times into the mix. This time, we're going to release him on a pop or a vertical because we want to tie up that safety. We're playing a big 5A school from Coeur d'Alene here, and we obviously need to hold some people here and make it a little bit trickier for them. So what we're going to do now is we're going to release that tight end, and all we're trying to do is get this safety to jump out of center field and go take that, uh, or excuse me, jump off the hash back into center field and take that tight end. Once that happens, you can see up at the top, that's a great job by our Z receiver staying on the move. So in the first clip, you saw us hit the, the big taper fade over the top. Obviously, this guy is going to be on the taper. But this guy on the five-yard end cut, people forget about that route. Man, it is a, it's a dynamite little pitch and catch for us was a good play for us all year. Um, you can see he puts it right on the money. It was first and 10. We're going to pick up 17, 18 yards on first down right there. I think that's a another really useful example of how diversified this play can be and how useful it can be. Um, I think it's I think it's really good stuff. Um, now, you're not limited to throwing this off of the RPO fit. You can also throw it as a drop back. That's not something that we do a ton of, but it is something that we do. Um, down here, we were working the taper fade concept. We've got the little push in cut right there. We've got the taper fade over the top. We release the tight end. The thing is our tight end was supposed to stay vertical and stay out of this man's window because he alerted a, a slant or an in cut up there as well. And you're gonna see here, we almost looks like we're running a mesh concept here. Luckily that Z receiver doesn't get in the way and the tight end gets fortunate that we're able to fit the ball in there and get a completion. We actually go down and kick a field goal right there and ends up be the and turns out to be the game winning field goal um, at the dome right there. So that was a that was a really cool play as well. Um, here we are again on the road back in the valley. 
Um, now we are working the the taper fade concept here on the backside between these two receivers. But what I wanted to show you is we've been so conscious of throwing it to that side. I want to show you what you can do to the other side, the front door side, the, the direction the zone is going. Um, we alert this guy for an option cut. This time he pushes it into a five yard out route and look at how easy of a pitch and catch on first and 10 this is flip it to him and you're going to pick up eight yards on first and 10. And again, here it is from the end zone view. Um, just an easy little pitch and catch um, off the zone action. We're going front door side. Obviously, the zone is going this direction to the right right here. So that's what makes it a front door throw. We have the taper fade concept on the back side of that. And again, there you go. Just an easy, just, just push the ball out there. Take the eight yards they give you. Make it, you know, make it nice and simple. All right, now. Here is this taper fade concept off of a gap scheme action. So let's focus on the offensive line first. We are running a gap power right there, fellas. That's a gap power all the way. Okay. Nothing fancy. All right. We're kicking out with the tight end fullback player. We're pulling the backside guard. Okay. But down here at the bottom, we're going to get this taper fade. We're in a little bit of a squeeze or compress alignment, a little stack set. Again, I think that's a really good way to get your receivers open. You can see the taper fade brings both guys with him. Number 14 just sits down basically in that little that little window right behind the taper fade. I think that's incredibly um, creative and productive route running. All right, that's, that's the best way that I could say that. I think that's a really, really good job of our kids understanding sort of where to run into the grass. You know, the outside receiver there, number 14, he doesn't lose his patience. He just waits, lets that taper fade clear things out. Quarterback's ready, pitch it to him. First and 10, we pick up another 10 yards. Okay, there it is from the end zone view. You can see the A-gap power working. Number 50 is the puller. Really good job by our kids fitting power. There we come around, pitch it into the green grass. And obviously you're going to pick up another first down. I think, again... Um, if you really look at how diversified this play is, uh, you saw us throw the in cut on the back door side. You saw us throw the taper fade for a big chunk play. Um, and then obviously you saw us go front door um, with the easy pitch and catch completion. So a very diversified way of throwing the football, uh, a very useful way to attack multiple coverages. You're seeing us attack two high. You're seeing us attack one high. You saw us get it to the number three receiver, the number one receiver, the taper fade number two receiver and to the front door guy. So a pretty diversified play and obviously lots and lots of clips where we hand the ball off as well. Hopefully this video was helpful for you coaches. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button and also subscribe to the surface to air system YouTube channel. Put any questions you have down there and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Um, you can reach me on Twitter at coach Hargett, or you can reach the surface to air system account at S 2 a system. Also head over to our website, our domain name is www.richhargetfootball.com. That's R-I-C-H-H-A-R-G-I-T-T football.com. Check out our whole store on there. One book in particular I would really point out to you, coaches, is our radar book. If you head over to richhargetfootball.com, check out our store. It'll teach you how we read these RPOs. We wrote a book about a year ago that kind of diagrams out the entire concept of how we teach RPOs the way we build these and and sort of how we read them and how we instruct the quarterback. So I think there's some really good stuff in that radar book that would be really useful for you. You would see um, all sorts of stuff and, and, you know, these clips and more are kind of diagrammed in that book and sort of how we teach the RPO game, um, how we instruct the quarterback all the way down to the offensive line, you know, a little bit on the receivers. I think we do a pretty darn good job of, of explaining all that stuff and categorizing all that stuff and giving you a really good platform for learning the RPO game. And it's really all in one simple 100 plus page book. So again, head over to www.richargetfootball.com. Check that out. Like I said, there's a plethora of resources on there. I think it'll be a really useful tool for you. Um, and don't hesitate to reach out if you have questions in the future. Just let us know what we can do to help you. Thanks again, coaches, and see you on the next video.